Well, welcome to episode 5307 of um, this series of stuff. Motorcycle trips. Anyway, so this time uh, we decided to go all the way uh, from Seattle through to uh, Grand Teton, Yellowstone, uh, Glacier, back up to uh, Canadian Rockies, then down. The green circled segments are modifications to the original plan. That's all. So, exit. Uh, the usual price, getting out of Seattle. Uh, and Kevin and myself, we're gonna do 3,000 miles. Um, let's see. So the first night we were fortunate to be uh, able to get hosted uh, friends of Kevin, uh, which was absolutely incredible, totally incredible, the best hospitality in the world in the most incredible setting. Um, now uh, there. First cutting, then watering. Usually I thought it's the other way around. You plant and then you water. Get in front of those bikes. And here we go. We passed them. Kind of cool. And then we decided to pass the very, very big four-wheeled uh, motorcycle as well. Why not? So here we're on our way to the Wallawas, uh, where there's the, uh, jo the little town of Joseph, which is where uh, old cheap Joseph uh, was uh, buried. And it's a cute little town on the top of the mountains over there. Uh, but meanwhile, we're passing over the Blue Mountains to the Wallawas. And this is the proper etiquette. And we've had a lot of uh, these kinds of uh, good people who are motorcycle aware. shot of Kevin flying by and I wanted to make sure that uh, uh, we're not falling off of the edge of the flat world so uh, I made sure that he is going to first in case the world ends because this was pretty quite far away and here are the Wallawas and they're really gorgeous and this is the town of Joseph with two really cool sculptures there And it was actually uh, fuller than it appeared. Uh, you know, this is, I think, Lake Wallawa, which is really cool. Uh, much cooler than the pictures, but you get the idea. And uh, here's Kevin's motorcycle, which I didn't get a good shot of it. So anyway, he's showing up quite a bit uh, in front of me, like here. And uh, there, 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 whichever way you say it. But you can see it over there poking. If you look at so then we're um, uh, over the Wallawas, which is essentially overlooking the uh, Hell's uh, Canyon, which we're just about to. Uh, get to and then I got fed up with taking small uh, uh, shots so I condense it all to a fast track fast walk. and then we're at the uh, Hell's Canyon overlook service to the public. And you 
can imagine this fits very well into a panorama, but uh, it didn't take a panorama. And we've been at that corner, this intersection before, but uh, maybe three months before, and it was blocked because of ice, because of snow. So we got there at this time and successfully passed the Route 39 or whatever it was. Now again, this is road we already uh, rode this earlier this summer. This is uh, crossing, I think, the Snake River um, towards Cambridge, Idaho, uh, by Oxbow. Oxbow is the name of the or the place where you cross the water. And we love this area, so I'm really happy that. And then we got, that's the end of the day, uh, we got to the garden. Uh, and that was essentially a beginning of the, of the trip, although the past there was incredible. But here uh, we're getting into the As beautiful as before, actually. There was a fire uh, right somewhere there, I don't know if the plan is. Uh, Now we have a lot of, pretty much roads like this, uh, a lot of uh, curves, stern, twisties, rivers, mountains, uh, infinitely so. It was just a full day of that and slowly we're uh, getting altitude, uh, eventually climbing to the Sawtooth Mountains, which uh, it was really incredible while we were there. I don't think we did it justice in this video, but you're making any plans for any trips, this is a mandatory route. You have to go through the sort of really beautiful. And the way to climb them is just gentle hours of these kind of uh, twisty roads. Now you can see the other two. Uh, we're essentially in a plateau at that point. That was a huge, incredibly large meadow, very, very large meadow. I think there's a couple guys there uh, on the water. White water, there was a lot of white water. Uh, Then we're uh, essentially we got off the wherever we were that will allow us or wherever it was and now we're getting a few straights uh, some of them with really strong winds and this is like a passage in the middle of this interstate or highway which was a straight flat all of a sudden canyon for a brief segment and then again straight flat for a long time. Still on our way to Idaho Falls, and pretty much uh, there was really strong winds over here. Love the motorcycles; they really did well there. That's it. Got to Yellowstone or Yellowstone, Idaho Falls. Mm -hmm.